Huge news out of Houston. The state is taking over Houston ISD, dissolving its school board and throwing out its superintendent because some campuses there have persistent problems, not to mention some issues reportedly with the board itself. Districts across the state are watching to see how this is going to unfold since it could carry implications for other districts. Joyce Foreman is a Dallas ISD trustee and she is in studio. Good morning to you. Good morning. Let, let's talk about the uh, the news here. How surprising was that to you that the, the state is taking over the largest school district in the state? Well, there's no surprise. Um, there's been um, several instances where we've gotten information to say that possibly the state would take over Houston ISD, uh, but I'm somewhat concerned. Uh, tell me why. Um, Houston ISD has about 280 campuses, 180,000 students. That's a large number of students. That's huge. It's a huge district. And to come in and put a board of managers in that have no experience with uh, running a school district is going to be somewhat difficult when you take all of the historical knowledge away from the board. Uh, that will be difficult. And on top of that, you'll be adding a new uh, superintendent. Do you expect this to have any implications statewide? Well, I think it has implications nationally. Uh, because from a national perspective, when you look at what's going on in Houston, it's gone on around the country. And no normally those districts that are taken over are districts that are in um, economically depressed areas and usually have African American and Hispanic students as the largest student population. And that is a concern. Well, well, the state has taken over smaller districts, as you kind of alluded to there before, but never anything on the scale, no. uh, obviously, as well. Do you, do you think the takeover might change anything that Dallas ISD is doing, any operation that Dallas ISD is doing? I actually don't believe the takeover will change Dallas ISD and what, what we're doing in terms of uh, trying to make sure that we have great student outcomes and that we uh, ensure uh, that all the students have equity. So I don't think that'll change anything that we're doing. I do think uh, that the board, is, particularly me as a board member, will be taking a close look at what's happening in Houston and trying to be able to support trustees that are there. What do you mean by that? Are you going to reach out to them at all? Or, of or? course. Of but, course I'd like to reach out to those trustees. I know some of the ones that are gone out. Yeah. Uh, as you know, there was an election and there were four new trustees coming on the board. And now they're, they're gone, obviously. Now they'll uh, be gone also. With the superintendent. I want to ask you briefly about the tornado that struck last month. Uh, I know it's not your district, it's farther north, but should the district rebuild those three schools that were destroyed? Well, I think uh, there's a lot of conversation about what will happen with uh, those schools. Um, what do you want to see happen? What I want to see happen is what's best for children and in that particular area. Uh, there's conversation about consolidating and having one large K through 12. One giant campus. Yeah. One giant campus. Uh, that is somewhat cumbersome. And so I hope the district really takes a good look at that because we haven't done that in the past. And, and we know that you will be taking a good look at that when the board meets, uh, <laughs> Joyce. We appreciate you coming in. Joyce Foreman, Dallas ISD School Board member. Thanks. Thank you.